हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी स्लोप एंड डिफ्लेक्शन बीम्स व्हाट इज द स्लोप एंड डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ बीम सो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दिस बाय एन एग्जांपल सपोज वी हैव अ सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम लाइक दिस दिस इज अ सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम and a point load is applied here suppose this is the point load applied right there will be shear force and there will be bending moment entire length of the beam right and but what is the shape of the beam after loading when we apply the load what is the shape of the beam you will see the shape of the beam is like this shape of the beam is like this it means the beam is deformed deformed from the original position original position was a straight line but now it is a curvature and there is also a radius of curvature there will be a radius of curvature about which it is uh, deformed right suppose this is the center of that radius and uh, the arc of this arc about which this is in this curvature is there or it is bent right so this is called deflection this is called deflection of the beams so what is the deflection of the beam the shape the shape of the beam after deformation after applying the load after applying the load that is the deflection of the beam right and here we are more important is to find the slope and deflection right slope and deflection so what is deflection basically the vertical distance the from the original original length of the beam for original position of the beam what is the vertical deflection what is the vertical distance Uh, attained by the particle of the beam that is called deflection of the beam right suppose i want to find out the deflection at point c at point c what is the deflection so you will see this is the deflection of the beam this is the deflection at point c right suppose i want to find out the deflection at point certain point d so this is the vertical distance and it is the deflection of the beam at point d right but what is more important it is the maximum deflection right because even though the stress is in the beam are within under limit even though after applying the load the stresses are within limit but the uh, beam have deformed in such a manner in such a deflection that it is it fails it fails due to only due to deflection because it uh, it deflected more than the desired limit right more than the desired limit then we say that beam is failed so beam may fail in deflection although the shear force and bending moment are within certain limit right so what is the maximum deflection so you will see here the maximum deflection is at this point for the time being for this beam this is the maximum deflection y max at the center so our aim will be to find out the maximum deflection right so beam may fail due to this maximum deformation or maximum deflection right so in this case you can see here the maximum deflection for the time being here is the at the center at the center right and what is the slope slope is the tangent at certain point suppose at this point this is the slope so this is the slope and at this point the slope is zero right at certain point there may be some certain under slope so you will see here this is the slope at point a right so this is the slope at point a this is theta theta a i am saying here theta a the slope at this point and you can see here the slope is maximum at the supports right at the supports the slope is maximum like this this is theta b so also this slope is also important because due to this slope if this slope is higher deflection will be higher and due to this slope maximum slope the beam may fail so so theta max in this case in this particular case for simply supported beam for simply supported beam with point load at center point load at center at center there is a point load simply supported beam for point load at center theta max theta max will be equal to in this case is theta a or theta b which is at the supports at supports so at support points at supports points 
theta is maximum right and our aim is to find out this theta max right uh, i am taking only one example there may be other examples also but for this case for this case you can see here theta is maximum at the supports which is theta a or theta b right or and the deflection is maximum at point e at point e deflection is maximum so y max y max is basically y e or y center at the center center right so this is the maximum deflection this is the maximum deflection at center at center right and this is maximum slope at maximum slope at support maximum slope at supports right maximum deflection at the center and maximum slope at the supports and our aim is to find out these two maximas two maximum maximum slope and maximum deflection because the beam may fail due to maximum slope or maximum deflection right and more importantly maximum deflection because the chances of failure is due to deflection also even though the stresses are within within certain limit even though the beam may fail due to higher deflection so our aim is to find out these slopes and deflections right now let us take the case of uh, cantilever beam suppose we have one more example let us take the case of cantilever beam like this and we have applied a point load here w what will be the curve after deformation this will be the curve like this like this right so this is the curve after deformation and and there is a center of curvature suppose like this here there is some center of curvature right like this uh, it has center of curvature at this point it will be having certain center of curvature and it will be having some radius of curvature also right so radius of curvature will be there now what is the slope what is the maximum slope uh, in this case for cantilever beam for this particular case for this particular case what is the maximum slope what is the maximum slope i am taking the case of uh, cantilever beam cantilever beam with point load at free end free end i am taking this for example only cantilever beam with point load at free end what is happening here where is the slope maximum and where is the deflection maximum you can see here at the free end there is deflection maximum deflection this this is the maximum deflection this y max y max right and the slope slope will be also be maximum here you can see here this at certain point this is the slope this is slope is increasing and it is maximum here you can see here the slope is maximum here at this point slope is maximum if you see theta this is theta theta b or theta max so slope is maximum at the free end also right so at free end slope and deflection both are maximum y max as well as theta max so slope and deflection both are maximum at free end slope and deflection both are maximum at free end free end right so free end right so theta b is theta max and also y b is y max at free end right so these are both are maximum at the free end so our aim will be to find out this y max and this theta max because failure may take place at the free end because deflection may be higher than the desired value right although the stresses may be within limit but the uh, deformation or failure may be due to this deflection which is higher than the desired value right so this is the uh, brief introduction of the slope and deflection of beams right now uh, suppose we are taking this case only uh, for this particular case uh, when we will be solving the equations uh, first we will uh, derive the deflection equation 
uh, what will be the boundary condition for this particular case is what will be the boundary condition what boundary condition can be used in this case like simply spotted beam here the slope is maximum but deflection is zero right so one of the boundary condition may be if we use to we want to utilize the boundary condition the boundary condition is that here at these points at a and b deflection is zero so y a equal to y b equal to zero one of the boundary condition is this another is you can see here where the maximum deflection is there the slope is zero here slope is zero here right so theta slope theta or angle at this point at center theta e is zero right so this is the boundary condition which can be used for simply spotted beam right for cantilever beam what boundary condition can be used you can see here here the slope is zero you can you know that I mean, in columns also we have studied that at fixed end there is no uh, slope no deformation right so y a equal to zero theta a equal to zero this boundary condition may be used for cantilever beam right now we are saying that theta e theta a although we are saying that this is a slope what is a slope? What is slope? Slope is tan theta, tan theta, which is dy by dx, dx. And if and if theta is small, it is nearly equal to theta. If the slope, if theta is small, tan theta is nearly equal to theta. That's why we are taking the slope as theta here, right? I am saying this is a slope. This is actually angle, but this is also a slope because tan theta is nearly equal to theta, the deflection is not as high as that it can be deviated from tan theta, right? So tan theta is nearly equal to theta for small angles, for small angles. That's why, that's why I'm writing here slope as theta a, slope as theta b, right? That's why I'm writing theta a, the slope, theta, right? Because we are assuming that the tan theta is small as compared to the total angle we are assuming that uh, tan theta is small right so this is a this is a brief introduction of the chapter of deflection of beams and what we are going to study in this case we are going to study the slope and deflection of beams and we will utilize some boundary conditions to find out the slope and deflection